So for someone who's never heard of it or lacks the understanding, please explain to us, like we're talking to like an infant, what is red light therapy in simple terms? So, well, in simple terms, it's part of the solar spectrum. So it's really part of the light that we get naturally from the sun. And I would position it as kind of the safest part of the solar spectrum. So just to uh, get a little bit granular, when you think about sunlight and the solar spectrum, we, in science, we break it up into three kind of main buckets. You've got ultraviolet light, which is high energy light. And most people are familiar with ultraviolet light. Uh, and vitamin D. So like UVB is needed, to shine on the skin, uh, stimulates the body to make vitamin D. Then you have visible light, uh, which is the light we can see. And that's, you know, high school physics, Roy G. Biv, you, sh you shine light through a, a prism and you get these uh, different colors of the rainbow. That's uh, the light we can see. And it's uh, in wavelengths, it's 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers, the wavelength. And then, uh, and then we have infrared, which is uh, again, invisible, and that's roughly 700 nanometers up to about 10,000 nanometers. And infrared is div div uh, divided into near, mid, and far. So when we're talking about red light therapy, typically we're talking about the visible part of the spectrum above 600 nanometers-ish, which is kind of orange, up to 650 nanometers, which is a deep red, up until 700 nanometers. And then you get into near infrared. And typically in the, these devices, they go up, up to about 900 to 1,000 nanometers wavelength of near infrared. And so it's this very kind of narrow part of the solar spectrum that has unique biological properties. Uh, and the main thing is that it, it, the, the wavelengths are long enough to penetrate into the body and, uh, and not get uh, absorbed by water. So most people are familiar with infrared sauna. And sometimes people get confused. They say infrared is an infrared sauna. It's actually not infrared sauna. Infrared sauna is using mid and far infrared. Those are much longer wavelengths and they, those, they're absorbed by water and that generates heat. That's why they're used in the sauna, right? So they're, they're, you're essentially heating the body from the inside out. The water in your body is absorbing the infrared from the sauna and generating heat. The parts of the red, uh, red light therapy that are used in devices like ours, no water absorption or, or practically no water absorption, which means that the, the light can get deep into the body. And uh, okay, so that's that's part part A of the story is that these part of wavelengths can penetrate deep into the body. Part B is like, okay, what are they doing once they're penetrating deep into the body? And what they seem to be doing is uh, getting harnessed by the mitochondria uh, 